Hey, what's up, movie fans? Yesterday, I saw Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. This is the continuation of the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series. Uh, this one continues several months after the first film from 2016 and stars Eddie Redmayne. Uh, he is Newt. He is a young man who is learning all about abilities with wizardry. And this is set in the same Harry Potter universe. We, But it's a prequel to all of them. There are some subtle references throughout, including, of course, Dumbledore. Jude Law portrays Dumbledore in this film, and he is uh, on the fence. Uh, a lot of people are out to get him, kind of like this wizardry police. And he is literally cuffed, trying to... Uh, dissuade people uh, from from thinking that maybe his intents aren't exactly on the up and up. Uh, Grindelwald is in this film and he is portrayed by Johnny Depp. What's a good way to make Johnny Depp unlikable in a film? Have him kill an innocent, adorable animal. I don't like giving spoilers, but oh my god. So first... So this is the first, like, five minutes of the movie. You're like, oh, Johnny Depp's in this movie. I like Johnny Depp. I love Johnny Depp. Oh, look, Johnny Depp's playing a bad guy. I bet I'm going to like him. So what do you do? You have him destroy this adorable, innocent animal. Who's probably not innocent, but he looks really cool. He looks like Spike from Gremlins or whatever. But, yeah, that's a good way to make me hate you, Johnny Depp. How on earth could you kill an innocent so anyway um he is pure evil and he is connected to dumbledore this is a yin and yang right here for sure can they meet uh in the middle there is a lot of talking in this movie this is similar to the harry potter series and the fact that they're kind of a slower burn that builds and builds and builds don't get me wrong there's a lot of action in this movie but like the harry potter series I think that each film got progressively better, a little bit more action-packed. I don't really like the whole slow yarn burn kind of thing. But this one definitely picked up in the action from the first film. It's cute, it's sweet, but it's also got some action. Uh, a little bit more flair to it than in the first one. Uh, I enjoyed the movie a lot. I think that there is uh, some big leaps and bounds improvements from the first one. Like I said... I was a little bit bored with the first one. I did see it at the uh, at home. I did not watch it at the theater, which I think always adds to your experience. The theatricalness can can never be uh, topped when you just see it on this huge, giant screen. And I got to say, I had a good time. I had a much better experience with uh, Fantastic Beasts 2. Uh, wow, just, I can't get over how terrible Johnny Depp's character is. He's just pure meanness, pure unadulterated hate. Ugh, but Eddie Redman, he's really, really good. There's some twists and turns in this movie. There's some good love interest in it. It's a better fleshed out overall film. That being said, uh, I really should rewatch Fantastic Beasts. Um, give it another shot. Uh, what do you think? Should I? Let me know. I realize this is more of just a critique on the film without giving away too much because I don't want to spoil it because there's some pretty cool things that happen in this movie. I'm definitely more invested in this series now as they go along because this is a better sequel, superior sequel, uh, and I think it's worth checking out. I'm really hoping that they can be similar to the Harry Potter series with each progressive film gets better and better than the last because I'll tell you what, Harry Potter 4... Was It was incredible. Alfonso Cuaron, he knew what he was doing. And each director after him, I think he actually did the next one too. But uh, it, it got progressively cooler and better and darker. Maybe that's what they're going to do with this. I mean, it was pretty darn dark, killing that innocent little animal. I would love to know what you guys think of this movie. Please subscribe. Please share. My dog's barking. Sorry about that. If you want to help support my YouTube channel, you can uh, check out... If you want to help support my YouTube channel, you can go to onceuponad.net, get a cool shirt like this. Uh, London Hawthorne is my username, and it will be your coupon code. So onceuponad.net, get a cool Gojira Godzilla shirt like the one I'm wearing right now. 
and save some bucks and I get a couple bucks in back. Uh, you can also share my YouTube video. You can hit the thumbs up button uh, and leave a comment. What do you think about this movie? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you indifferent? Was it worse than the first? Was it better? Let me know. I love talking about movies. This is pretty much all I want to do with my life is talk about movies. So leave a comment. And let's talk about some movies. Wish you all the best. And uh, get some popcorn, get a cherry icy, have some fun at the theater. There's nothing like it.